Well hello, it's Paul Hatton here, and today we're going to be looking at the wave formations in the film Surf's Up. Uh, here we've got a um, PDF document uh, from SIGGRAPH uh, a few years ago, and uh, this just details how they made the waves in that film. So we're going to take a closer look at it, how they did it, and try to recreate that. So let's head over to, um, I think it's page uh, 68, and uh, we can see some of the uh, the wave formations, the uh, different points in time uh, the, the the wave uh, takes on. So here we've got the wave curve profile, it's got a flat one and it, uh, it just moves on from the flat to the curved um, and as you can see the wave just changes shape uh, as it goes through time and we're just going to morph between these different profiles uh, over time. So let's dive into 3D Studio Max and uh, as you can see to save time I've already created those uh, curve profiles and uh, starting from the flat one and just to illustrate I've used the same base um, spline so this one's got nine vertices um, and I've just copied that and then created the next one and that's got, so that's got the same number of vertices in the same uh, order and that's really important um, as you build up your splines they can be any shape you want but make sure they're sort of built from the same base spline then all I've done uh, is just copied the first spline, as you can see here, added a morpher modifier to it. And all we do here now is add to that mod modifier all the different control splines that we have already set up. And we do that through the load multiple targets. Now I've already uh, done that, so this is all set up. Um, but that's how you do it. And then they're all listed there, the progressive morph, and it just morphs uh, between... Uh, the different wave profiles. So that's how you do it. Create the splines, set up the morpher, and uh, that's your first step.